Go ahead. So let's look at a summary of the energy theorems. We have the principle of virtual work. And the principle of virtual work gives you the order of Lagrange equations. And the order of Lagrange equations are Cauchy's relationship, which was extremely exciting to see. And then we saw that we get equilibrium equations. So PVW gives you these two things. Um, and complementary virtual principle of virtual work is also very general. So these are very general theories. Uh, you can even apply it to plasticity. Order the Grange equation here is a strain displacement relationship. And I also have the displacement, prescribed displacements, prescribed displacements. And then I made some major simplifications. I, I said, okay, uh, most of the problems can probably be tackled if they have a conservative deformation process. and conservative loading. And this gives you the minimum. When I make that simplification, I get the minimum potential energy theorem. Then I can further simplify it. If I'm interested in a local behavior, like a local load, local deflection, then I can go ahead and then even simplify it further to get first Casigliano's theorem. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Here, I'm gonna make the same assumptions as I did here, like these ones here, and I'll get the complementary total complementary total potential energy theorem. And then this one I can further specify and can get seconds Casigliano's theorem. So you may ask me what is each one useful for? PVW is useful for deriving structural theories. Also the complementary principle virtual work. Principle virtual work is finite element based. Complementary principle virtual work is boundary element based. You may have heard about that method for analysis. And it can help you also to derive PVW and P CPVW can help you derive structural theories and help you formulate a finite element formulation for a problem for the most general case. Well, this one here, uh, very useful as well, can be the basis of finite elements as well, and um, can be used to derive structural theories as well, which I demonstrated with uh, the beam for moderate strains or moderate rotation, small strains. This one here is more useful for uh, problems where you're interested in local behavior it's not really used for finite elements. It's mostly really used to determine um, local deflections and loads if loads are applied, things like that. Uh, I have used it for other things like impact events. Uh, if you know the impact event, you know the strain energy, which you can calculate. You have the kinetic energy. You can take the strain energy, kinetic energy. You know that's a function of the load P. It can help you determine what the deflection is at the location of damage. I've used it very simply for simple problems like that, but nothing too complex. Okay, so with that said, that summarizes uh, lecture 20, which is a summary, and I'll now move to adjoints.